All right. This is great because we have this behind us here. Who does this represent back here? What? That's right. When Jesus was born, who came to visit Jesus? You know? Who came to visit Jesus? The shepherds. That's right. The shepherds and who else? Mary and Jesus. Mary definitely visited Jesus, yes. <laughs> and one more group that I'm thinking of. Three kings. That's right, three kings, or the wise men, or the magi. And how did they know where to go? They followed the star. Followed the star, that's right. Now, if you look at pictures of the star, we often see it as this huge thing in the sky that's, like, so bright, and, like, it's beaming down light on this little village. Have you seen that picture? Yeah. Well, if that was the case, don't you think everyone would have gone to see what that was about? Like if there was a huge light out here shining down on a house, do you think you might like maybe go take a look what's going on there? Like when they have spotlights in the air going, go check it out. So I was reading into this and seeing what the Bible says about the actual star. And if you want to follow along out there, it's in Matthew 2. So the Bible says that the kings, they saw the star in the east, and then they went to go find it. So they went to Jerusalem, and they talked to Herod, and they said, where is, uh, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we, we saw his star in the east. And now Herod, he also wanted to find Jesus, didn't he? But not for a good reason, which is why if if the light was super bright and shining down on this house, Herod, Herod probably could have found him. So I'm not sure that that picture is accurate. But um, so then after visiting with Herod, the kings went to go find Jesus. And how fast do you think they can move on camels? You think really fast? Slow. Slow. Pretty slow. And how fast can, can stars move in the sky? Do they move quick, or do they move slow? Slow? That's right. Yeah. And, which brings me to my point about it not being a spotlight, is that the kings had to look carefully for a star. In fact, some scientists believe that right at the time Jesus was born, that there was a couple stars that came together in the sky to form a very special shape that they hadn't seen before. And as they traveled slowly across the east, I mean, this was, they were traveling for months, that as they moved, the stars moved with them. And it kept showing them where to go until they found Jesus. But they had to keep looking up at the sky. It wasn't like, hey, there's a bright light. Let's get on our camels and go across town and find them. I mean, camels. Now, this was happening for months at a time. So now I want to ask you something else. Do you think that... Do you think I'm going to see a star if I'm looking like this? Do you think, do you think I'm going to see a little teeny dot of light if I'm just like this the whole time? I see your foot, you mean. Yeah, yeah you're not going to see the star. And what if, what if I put headphones in and I'm just listening and playing a game and stuff? Do you think I'm going to notice a little teeny star just slowly moving across the sky? No. And that's my point, is that the, the kings, they were looking. They were always looking and watching and praying that they would know exactly what to look for so that when they saw it, they would know what to do. And so to remind you of that, here's something. I have these little lights for you to take. And the cool thing about these lights is that they're solar powered so that they charge up from the sun. So you have to go outside and look up. Now this might have to wait till March to get fully powered. <laughs> but um, the other cool thing is that when the solar power gets covered up, so when it's dark, that's when it'll light up. And that's kind of like how it is with God. When you're here, you know, your batteries can charge up so that when it's dark and you're by yourself, that you always have that light with you. 
So go put this in your windowsill and let it charge up. And then when you need it at night, the light will come back on. And remember to always look for the light. And it's not always the brightest, loudest thing out there, but it's the most important one. So here you go.